guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. So recently Wet n Wild has again launched their rest of the products on Nykaa, including their brushes and new foundations. Then they also released their uh, this sort of palette as well as this kind of quads and few new other things. So I thought let's just do it once again because last time when I did the Wet n Wild first impression, I did not have the foundation. But this time I do have the foundation. Initially I picked up the shade Desert Beige which I tried on my skin just to see how it wears and to give you guys my reviews. That time I realized that this shade is really dark for my skin. So that's why I went ahead and bought the shade Golden Beige which I haven't tried yet. I actually wanted to pick up the shade Bronze Beige but that shade is always out of stock. So I picked up the Golden Beige and I have it in mind that if the shade Golden Beige is too light for my skin, I'm gonna mix the shade Dessert Beige into it and just put it on my skin. So yeah, and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Please do subscribe and join the family and now let's get into the video. So I have already moisturized my skin and I am ready to prime the skin and put on some makeup. So to prime my face, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer and this is how it looks like. And this primer says it will help to refine pores, fill, fine lines, brighten complexion and even the skin tone. So we are going to see about that and it comes in with this kind of sticker right here which is kind of annoying this primer retails for 499 rupees and you get 25 ml of product okay it comes out like a really white kind of uh, lotion like and i'm just gonna take this much and just put it on the skin applies like lotion as well like a moisturizer very lightweight moisturizer so primer is all set in the place. Now my face feels a little bit of the mattifying and uh, does not feel as tacky. And now I'm gonna move on to the foundation. And for my foundation, first I'm gonna take the shade Golden Beige. And I'm just gonna take, comes with a spatula. Of course, you guys probably uh, be knowing by this time. I'm just gonna take it on the back of my hand because I don't like to just put it on the face directly so uh, this much uh, looks like this will be a little too light for my skin I'm just gonna use my sponge and just try and buff it in the skin on camera it really looks like a good match and in person it is a little bit light it's not like overly light but uh, on my viewfinder i see it's a really good match so i'm gonna go with this shade only also if you guys want me to do any in-depth review on any of these products then leave me a comment below and few of the products i already did my review on like the contouring powder um yeah this foundation definitely has some fruity chemical sort of smell which is not really bothering my sensitive nose because I usually get headache with any strong smell. Okay, so this foundation is definitely looking a little bit light right now but I'm just gonna move on with this one and what I'm noticing is that this foundation is drying really fast on my skin so I think you have to work really fast when you are using this foundation. So uh, that's how my face looks, a little bit ghostly, I know. But I'm just gonna ignore that and move on to the concealer. And for my concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And this one is in the shade Medium Tawny. And this is how it looks. I already had this concealer from past, so I did not go ahead and buy any of the shade because this shade itself is really nice for my skin. So yeah. On top of this foundation, this concealer may not show up as much because the foundation itself is really light. Not very really light, but comparatively light. 
and i think if i mix the shade dessert beige it will be a really nice color all right concealer is done now my face looks a little bit better to set the concealer i have the wet n wild contouring palette which has the setting powder as well as the contouring powder and i also have the wet n wild pressed compact powder and these both are also from my old collection like when wet n wild initially launched so i think to set my face i'll be using this uh, yellow powder from the contouring palette and I'm gonna use it to set my face. I left my lip area because I wanted to try the primer from them. So yeah. Now I'm using the pressed compact powder. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. But when actually does not have any uh, loose setting powder in their collection. Oh yeah. I think they should have a loose setting powder for their collection because as the summer months is coming and I definitely want my makeup to stay long and loose powders are great for that because loose powders will set your concealer your foundation right in place and will not let your foundation or concealer budge from the place now I'm all set I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows eyes and then come back and do some contouring and blushing so to fill in my brows, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Coal Crayon, like eye crayon. And this one is in the shade Pretty in Mink. And honestly guys, this color in this Kajal pencil is one of the best color I have found for my eyebrows. Because I have naturally dark brows. And this pencil has the perfect amount of gray and brown into it. So yeah, I really love this one. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this. The only thing is that it has a really fat tip and it is also very and it is also very creamy, so that's why you have to sharpen it often than any eyebrow pencil. But this color is gorgeous by itself. You're gonna see it yourself. And this pencil is just for 135 rupees, and I think you cannot get any better deal than this one. So I have nothing to set my brows in place, so I'm going to skip that part. Now moving on to the eyes, first thing I'm going to try is the eyeshadow primer. This is also the photo focus eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. And this is how it comes in, like this is the box it comes in. And the original product looks like this, white and black. I really like the packaging. And on the back it says this perfect primer preps and brightens eyelids to lock down eyeshadow color. Its smooth effortless application dries to a clear finish and keeps eyeshadow in place. And it also says long lasting and dries on clear. Has a, a really tiny nozzle right here. Okay, it comes out like this. And it has a cream sort of color, really light color. Mm, you know, I'm just gonna use it. And I'm gonna use this much amount because for eye primers, you do not really need as much. And as I'm blending, all I see, feel is that uh, this is drying fast. Okay, now it has dried completely matte. I'm just gonna... Now I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow and for my eyeshadow I have two of the options right here and these are called as color icon palettes and it contains 10 different shades and this one is in the shade rose in the air and this is more of a you know a pinky toned palette then we have the shade comfort zone and this is how it looks like. I did not get this one off of Nika, but I got this one from Philippines when the Wet n Wild did not even launch on Nika. And I'm gonna have my haul up on my channel really soon, like Philippine haul. And if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys already have an idea that there are many products I got from uh, Philippines. So yeah. And I think I'm gonna go with the Comfort Zone palette. So uh, let's just quickly open it up. 
Also, I want to mention about these brushes from Wet n Wild. This one is the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. This is the packaging it came in and oh my god guys, for 145 rupees, you cannot get any better brush than this for crease or transition colors because this brush is just amazing. And ever since I got this from the first day itself, I have been using this brush and I also washed this two times in between. I really love this one. I highly recommend you guys check these brushes, especially the crease brush. It's awesome. So first color I'm gonna be taking is is this transition color because it contains these two transition color and these are uh, all shimmer colors for the lids. So first transition I'm gonna take is this color right here and just put that all over my lid. Oh, these are fun. Also, I'm not really enjoying the primer because let me give you guys the up close. This is how the primer looks. So it's quite drying on my eyes. I don't know how to use this primer. I tried to blend it with the sponge but it still did not blend that much. I don't uh, like this eye situation. I'm gonna just wipe this, this primer and this eye off and I'll be right back to do, do in a better way. Alright, so on the top of this eye look, I added a dramatic winged liner. I did not have any liner from Wet n Wild, so I went ahead and used my Miss Clear pen liner for the wing. As well as I put on some mascara because uh, in the past, Wet n Wild did not impress me with their mascara, so I skipped on to that. Now I'm gonna contour my face, and to contour the face, I'll be using uh, the contour shade right here from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I'm again using the yellow powder to set and brighten up my, um, you know, concealed areas. Just so that it looks a little bit brighter and matches with my eyes. Alright, now moving on to the blush. I have the same old color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine. And I'm just going to use it sparingly on my face. Not too much because these are really pigmented. And now to highlight my face, I'm again going to use the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And now I've just left with my lips and for my lips, I'm again going to use my old lipstick from Wet n Wild again. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha from their Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. I actually don't even have the setting spray from Wet n Wild. I don't even know why I even did that. I did not pick any setting spray. Uh, but anyways, that is all about today's video. And as I said, if you guys want me to do any in-depth review on any of this product, then leave me a comment below and I will definitely do that for you guys. And yep, yeah, that's it, I guess. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.